Alright, hello and welcome to the Dead Space 3 DLC that comes after the ending of the first one. Now, when I originally did this, I did it on Impossible. So too did I do with the campaign after my computer fucked me. And this time I'm doing it on hard. Because there's no way in hell I am doing it. the DLC on Impossible again. That shit was hard enough the first time. Also, just so you know, I pretty much like woke up like 10, maybe 15 minutes ago. So I am fucking tired. A bit. Still. So I might be yawning a bit more than I normally do. Well, at least you didn't use my super weapon. Isaac, you activated the codex. The moon fell. We fell. What about the alien machine? It froze the planet. It pulled the moon out of the sky. We don't know what that technology can do. So that's it. We were saved by fucking aliens. I quit trying to make sense of it all back on the Shimura. Come on, this this can't be real. What are we supposed to do now? Well, for starters, get the hell out of here. And go where? Back to Earth? Yeah. If we're dead, we can do what we want, right? Damn right. Right. No one truly knows what comes after death. This DLC brings up a good point. What happens if you just continue on? Like, you know you died, but you're in the end you're just like, eh, whatever, let's just keep going where we left off. Looks like this is the only way. That would be interesting, wouldn't it? Like, in their case, they fell to their death, they woke up in a hole in a nice cavern. You know, why not? Let's keep going on, let's continue where we left off. Wouldn't that be interesting? <laughs> Like, you die, and you find yourself in a, you know, another reality after you died. It's like, you know you're dead, but whatever, let's keep going. That certainly would be, put a twist on death, wouldn't it? So you don't, you die, you don't go nowhere. You don't go to heaven, you don't go to hell. You don't sit in an eternal nothingness. Hey, you just go to another reality and continue your life from there. See what you can do this time, before you die. That would be interesting. Very interesting. There it is. Why's it way over there? Its orbit must have carried it westward as it was pulled down by the machine. I still don't understand how we survived. Maybe we did. Well, I'd know if I was dead, man. Man, I don't even know what dead means anymore. Are we necromorphs? Is this what they feel like after the after the marker reanimates them? Good question. Could you be any more crazy? Hell no, we are not necromorphs. We killed the thing that makes them. At least we don't have to put up with that shit anymore. Yeah. yeah. No more moon, no more marker signal, no more necromorphs, at least that's on our side. Yeah, now we're just stuck on this godforsaken planet. <laughs> Danik had a strong contingent down here hunting us. One of their ships has to be around here. Now that's a good idea. Let's get looking, dead boy. Huh. <laughs> that's not funny. Let's just take a moment to 
Look at this nice piece of artwork here. That looks kind of cool, don't you think? Now, let's make this a little Starcrafty. Take away the moon, turn it into a giant Zerg hive. This may be a frozen planet, but think of those as some Zerg tentacles coming out of the Earth, just to make the place look all Zergy. Just turn that into a nice giant Zerg hive, and this place would fit pretty well with Starcraft. Well, it's up to you guys to decide if I'm right or not on that one. I think these used to be markers. Now look at them. They're kind of glowy and just a little bit fucked up. At least I think they used to be markers. It's kind of hard to tell. Right. Still the powerhouse weapons. A little scanning. Nothing to be detected for miles, apparently. Yeah, that's not good. I think I'll stick with the Arctics. No, wait. We're going with the good old fashioned engineering suit. To get the one you get when you finish the game. Let's do this old style. Should whip out my plasma cutter too. Nah. <laughs> oh yeah, we're doing this old style. Alright, I think I'll go with the classic engineering suit for the rest of this DLC. Uh, let's see if I've got anything good. Alright, let's try creating something new. What have I got? Oh, I got no more heavy elite frames. Huh, Alright, let's go with a one-handed weapon then. Uh, ripcore, a survey charge, advise explosive canisters? I don't... What? Since when did I have one of those on a one-handed weapon? Well, that's no! Seriously, that's no! I don't remember ever getting one of those! On a one-handed weapon, no less? Seriously, what the fuck? Oh? Am I certain this is a one-handed weapon? Oh, no, no, no! <laughs> Why did I think that was a one-handed weapon for some reason? Maybe because of this... I thought it was a pistol hand. God, am I stupid. <laughs> Uh, sorry folks, I actually thought that was legitimately a one-handed weapon. Alright, so I have no more plasma cores at the moment. Uh, pneumatic torch, survey charge, telemetry spike. Uh, let's see... So yeah, the only thing I don't have is a plasma core. Now let's just create an extra one. Right. Uh... Alright, let's give it another shot. Maybe it'll be more accurate this time around. And what can we put on the underbarrel? I feel like going with this. Uh, I wonder if I have a little two of that. No, I don't. Flames gaze, fire support. 
damage support. Do I have another one of those yet? No, I don't. Let's create one. Damage support mark two. And then I'll throw in... Uh... Yeah, let's go with fire. Now I probably don't have any good circuits at the moment, so... Reload. What I need is rate of fire on this thing. Oh wow. Rate of fire is absolutely jack shit. Speed don't change at all. It's a little disappointing. Alright, well, let's go with a bit of speed and clip. Oh no, yep, now it does change. Man, by the tiniest little fucking bit. Alright, let's create a rate of fire and three damage. Oh, I don't have the tungsten anymore. It's a bit sad. Uh, what low level crap can I sell to try and get some additional tungsten? Or just overall resources. Cause let's face it, I ain't gonna use this low level shit. Alright, rate of fire, create. Ah, oh, I still don't have the numbers. Man, that's getting me 20 each time. Damage, create. Rate of fire and damage. Good. Now, let's go with a reload. And... Rate of fire. Ah, oh, damn it, I still <laughs> I don't have enough again. <sighs> Alright, um... Alright, let's just store it for the moment, till I can get more tungsten and shit. Hell, I'll probably never use it anyway. But we'll keep it just for the heck of it. Uh, how many ration seals do I actually have? 33. Not a lot. Still nothing on the sensors. What about are those wheels? Two. Because once I finish this, I can start a new game plus, finally. Well, I probably could have done it a while ago, but I didn't really want to. Besides, I'm doing class. I'm playing through on classic at the moment. There's so many. Oh, right. Well, goes all distorted. Better get what I can. No. You're dead. I, I knew it. I threw him over a cliff. You know what? Watch this. That's actually him! See, this is why I don't, didn't want to do it on hard. I mean, impossible. These ones are inc much stronger than the last. <clears throat> Thank god I got the super weapon, though. And the pukers make yet again another return. Where the fuck did that one come from? Two shot on the puker, because pukers are fucking strong. Oh crap, I missed. Crap, I think, no, I hit him. I only stunned him. Ah, fuck, they got me. Yeah, it's not the markers that we didn't stop. Alright, that way. Uh, let's see. Take a bit of health. A little more health. I'm gonna need a lot more health, aren't I? Let's see, did I miss anything? How much stuff did I miss when I did the this through on the first time? I missed one weapon part somewhere on this level. 
And then on level two, I missed one circuit. All right, ladies and gentlemen, keep an eye out for the weapon part that I require. If anyone spots it, please let me know. I'd like to come back and get it.